Hello, hello. Welcome to Crazy E Games. We're back in Genshin Impact, and today... There's actually a last part of this, um... Fabulous Fungus Frenzy. Um, I guess it's the event quest at the moment. There's actually one more part to it. A surprise conclusion, I guess? <laughs> so yeah, this is what we're going to be doing today. Uh, farewell, my shroom buddies. Fabulous Fungus Frenzy, Act 6. Meet up with Layla. It's about time to say goodbye to your shroom buddies. So yeah, I'll track that. This whole thing has been about, like... This tournament where you capture these shrooms. <laughs> you use the shrooms to battle other people with shrooms that they've captured and there was a tournament and a Fatui was behind a bunch of stuff and we became friends with our shrooms even without the capturing device that's supposed to help tame them or whatever. And yeah, uh, one of the best tamer person named Hanya! She's now uh, tasked with uh, taking care of everyone's shroom buddies until this technology can be better refined to be less dangerous. <laughs> Anyways, Har I noticed Hardy 2 Blades here, and I'm kind of curious at what he has to say, so let's talk to him. Master, m -m -m Master Silver Companion, please take me as your apprentice. Uh, calm down. Er, uh, yeah, calm yourself. Did you hit your head or something this morning? What are you talking about? I'm being serious. I was shocked when I heard that you guys defeated Lady Hanya. I went to visit Miss Hanya and learned about your story. I had no idea how out of line I was before. I'll change and make up for it. Please, Master Silver Companion, show me the proper path. Hold on, why are you coming to Paimon with this? Lumin makes most of the decisions here. I know, but the two of you have worked in harmony, and I'm sure you guys share the same ideas as well. However, Master Golden Comet is mysterious and rarely <laughs> ever speaks. I highly doubt someone as dull as me will be able to understand Master Golden Comet's teachings. On the other hand, Master Silver Companion's words are straightforward and easy to understand. That's why I like to become your apprentice. Why, what do we do, Lumin? We've never met anyone like this before. He went from being a big meanie to this. Paimon isn't sure what to do with him. Oh yeah, when we fought against him, he says like we suck and uh, he's gonna destroy us, but we ended up destroying him. My mind thinks it's better to leave him alone with his thoughts for a while. Instead of trying to mentor him, once he realizes what he's done wrong, he'll become a more reliable person. <laughs> Run! <laughs> there. Then there is only one solution. Uh, let's get as far away as we can from this weirdo. Ugh, disgusting. Uh huh? Uh, and there was actually another thing before I actually continue the story here. I saw on the Genshin Impact subreddit that um, if you go to this area here, something happens. There are many posts, so I don't know who to really credit. Um, some did a better job hiding the spoilers than others. I didn't click on the ones that look like it spoiled things, but there were a few that just says, come to this area and go to an area above this waypoint and something would happen. And uh, yeah, let's see what's about, what's what's up. It's like, I think like close to this area here. Yeah, something to do with this event apparently that is easily missable. And I feel like I've missed a lot of the interactables in this event. <laughs> Ooh. Speaking of which, Miko seems to have said the LA might be put up a final struggle. Somewhat, Paimon somewhat worried. Wait, is that what is? No, that's just the dynamic event. <laughs> and I couldn't really read what Paimon said. Ah, there are crocodiles over there. Are they mouths open? I think this is just a dynamic event, isn't it? Oh yeah, I've also leveled up Dory to the best of my ability. And she's been actually pretty fun to use. She has like a really simple attack chain, just three. So, like, she breaks uh, ore and stuff really quickly. <laughs> and yeah, I've given her the Sacrificial Fragment. I know some people might want to give her the Bell, since she heals more with HP, but I think firing off her elemental skill as much as possible is really fun. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I don't know, maybe I'll switch to the Bell when I've actually leveled her up, so she does more healing. Because it does seem like her kit has innate 
uh, energy recharge abilities so you can get your uh, burst up fast without really needing the extra energy recharge from this sword. But yeah, since this one's already leveled up, that's why I gave it to her. Originally, Sayu was holding it, and I was going to level up the one that Sayu's holding for her. But I'm like, oh, I can use it right away if I just give this to her, since I don't have this one leveled up either. So yeah, I felt like it's smart, since I'm using her now, that just give her the best uh, equipment I can. Since I'm not using Sayu at the moment, and the bell is just not <laughs> leveled up at all. <laughs> anyway... I don't think that dynamic event had anything to do with what was going on, but there was a Paimon voice line. Uh, maybe I should just look around this area a little bit more. Wow! So yeah, having uh, Dor Dory on the team makes it so that mining is quite convenient. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, it takes her only three shots to break the uh, crystal chunks. Whereas a lot of people, it takes four shots, it seems like. Or four normal attacks. Uh, maybe I'm a little too far, because I remember the picture that I saw was like circling pretty much right above this waypoint here. This waypoint is underground, but it was like over here or something. Oh, what? Why? Here, huh? There's a fat tooth on their own. Hurry, let's check it out. Is he an attack? I can see a smoke. Yahoo! Okay. Uro. Uro. Cha. Rockchka. Remover of potential liabilities. Oh, what is. That's ominous. What kind of liabilities is this guy removing? Is it like a human liability of some kind? Well, this one keeps disappearing. Here we go. I couldn't read that in time. I, I was too focused on fighting to actually um, pay attention to what Paimon was saying. Special wisdom orb. Mysterious Fatu le letter. What? Is this it? Uh, there's nothing here. Hmm. Let's see what that was. <laughs> Is it something here? So there are limited time stuff. Special wisdom orb. Quest item. This wisdom orb looks quite familiar. Though its back and base appears to have a few scratches and dings. Almost as if it has been fought over at some point. If you look closely, you can even find the following words. Backdoor command application sample and confirmed to have no value may be discarded as well as some blood it seems that not only did someone snatch this but they but that they might have met with some misfortune afterwards okay a letter well i can actually read this a letter a mysterious fatui letter a letter you found after defeating a fatui agent you came across why would he carry this with him though second lieutenant Yurachka, Yurachka. So that's the person we just defeated. Uh, I guess we killed. <laughs> I believe you have read the mission report. El Hingen's plan is in contrast to the style of our regular forces. He should have the sense that acting without orders from superiors would result in trouble for the entire organization. Oh, El Hingen, El, King, El Hingen is the Fatui that was he he wanted the doctor's approval so he made up this whole thing to like get a bunch of people to train up mushrooms <laughs> to be like an army for the Sneznai or something now that i say that out loud that sounds kind of silly this person is like i'm gonna build a mushroom army haha -ha. and how i'm going to do it i'm going to do it by making a lot of people train uh, these mushrooms for me and then i will Use this back door to take over their mushrooms. <laughs> There's just so much contingencies and variables in a plan that doesn't seem like it's a good idea. <laughs> Anyways, where did I read up to? Uh, orders from Spiro would result in trouble for the entire organization. It is certain that he wants to win the recognition from his superiors by taking risks to secure achievement. Before the Lord Harbingers give us any new orders, Elhingen's actions may well lead my division into peril. 
Thus, it is necessary to eliminate this risk before it causes any further damage to the situation. I have tried my best to look for a window of opportunity. The academia will handle a Hingen with caution by transferring him with relevant evidence to the prison near the location mentioned in this report. Knowing El Hingen, he will undubitably <laughs> manage to escape during the transfer and seek refuge from other Fatui divisions. Presently, your battle position is more suitable. You will be the one carrying out this mission. Send out rendezvous signals disguised as help and give him a pleasant surprise. Then check around. Find his minions and deal with them for good. So, um, I guess the Fatui, um, sent an assassin to take care of El Hingen. Take care of, as in, assassinate him. So, uh, because we all know dead people can't talk, so. <laughs> Unless, of course, uh, Hu Tao brings you back or something, I don't know. Or goes into the other world to try and talk to you. But yeah, is that all there is? Well, now that I've gotten this far, I guess I can just make sure that's all there is. I'm going to quickly Google this. Or or sub go to Genshin and Fast Subreddit and see. <laughs> Alright. It looks like that's it. Um, I'm not going to waste too much time. I will now actually do the... The conclusion so yeah let's uh let's go talk to Layla and see what she has to say Ooh, wee, 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 wee. Boop. <sighs> hey Layla how are you doing what's Charter, happening Paimon, Bungohead, over here well hello there Oh, yeah! Definitely. With Charlie Whirly helping me carry my luggage, we could go camping really far away. And I got to see the stars from a different perspective. Oh, I even managed to make some progress with my paper. Well, that sounds good, Layla. Uh, although, I've tried making almost everything on my food list now. Every time I used to flower or something, it got in the air and gave me a coughing fit. <laughs> but after all that, I still haven't figured out what Twirly Whirly likes. It would be great if the improved wisdom orb allowed us to communicate directly with the fungi. Oh, oh, oh. I should mention that in my letter and get someone to ask a senior Immortus scholar. Raymond's never seen you in such good spirits, Layla. You spoke a lot more than usual just now, and you're still full of life. You really go the extra mile for your shroom buddies. Uh, uh, I think I might have overexerted myself, though. I'm flagging hard. Uh, let's go see Miss Yai before I crash. Uh, oh, you may lean on me if you wish, uh, Layla. <laughs> Ring, say farewell. Or meet up with uh, Yai Miko. <laughs> I don't know why, how I got say farewell. I guess I just mixed up all the words there. Uh, where's Yai Miko? Now that it's over, does the bulletins change too? We'd like to thank all the competitors for their extravagant performances and the support of all our audience. The first season of the Nilot Pala Cup Beast Tamers Tournament has come to an end. Although there were a few hiccups at the end of the finals, they were all resolved by the camp champions, Golden Comet and Silver Companion. Due to technical difficulties, we are unsure as to when the next season of the Nilot Pala Cup Beast Tamer Tournament will be hosted. However, we promise that we will resolve the issue as quickly as possible and bring back the competition that you all enjoy. Meanwhile, please continue to show us your support. Alright. Most liked comment. Although I really hoped that the Nilot Pala Cup would continue to be held, after finding out about the flaws of the Wisdom Orbs, I fully stand behind Silver Companion's decision. Health and safety is definitely the top priority. I hope that all the competitors are safe and continue to maintain their friendship with their fungi companions. That way, 
they'll be able to return to the arena and bring us even more exciting competition. There are a number of comments stating people's understanding of Paimon's decision, a certain uh, concern for the condition of the competitors, and their hopes of the competition being continued in the future. Then we'll look at the most disliked comment. Everyone seemed to be happy with the fierce match and Paimon's victory speech. There are no negative comments, dot dot dot. Wow! Could you imagine no negative comments? Dang. Oh, is uh, Yaimiko already getting to ready to leave? Don't leave us, Yaimiko! Oh, you're earlier than I expected. Oh, but it's dark out. Miko, you're not leaving, are you? It feels like you never got to properly enjoy your vacation here. Oh, my needs for amusement have been more than met. Thanks to your help, our little inspiration hunt went perfectly. Not only did we gain invaluable experience in the tournament, we also had all the excitement of exposing a criminal conspiracy. Dang, you now they put it that way. Some crazy stuff did go down, didn't it, Yayumiko? Yes, I think I might ask Soka to ditch her original characters and just make you the protagonists in her next novel. You were behind, or you were helping behind the scenes. You knew there was something up with Al Hingen. True. It all makes sense now. You dropped so many hints, but it went over Paimon's head at the time. Why didn't you expose Al Hingen right away, though? Why wait for things to escalate like they did? Going for the big reveal right at the beginning would have been an anticlimax of the most literal kind. I wanted to see how you'd react in a situation like this, and you did not disappoint. I thought that the story between you and the fungi would follow a master-servant paradigm, but you offered something even better. Companionship, based on mutual understanding. From a certain point of view, it seems fitting that El Hingen, the one person who could barely keep the word master from his lips, met his downfall at your hand. Of course, considering what he's capable of, I'm sure he'll have his ways of continuing to put up a fight. Oh no. We found out uh, he's probably uh, sleeping with the fishes, if you know what I mean. Uh, Paimon's getting confused again. In the future, we should take notes when Miko's talking and carefully look over them later. Oh, that's enough chatting for now. I'll leave Blitzara in your hands. Remember to take good care of it. I hope you really give this a good shot, you and Hania. The future of this highly entertaining tournament depends on the decisions you make from now on. I'm excited to see what you've got in store for us. Okay. Sounds good. Hope you have a safe trip back to Inazuma. Thanks for helping out. Thanks for hanging out with us too. Alright, let's go meet up with Hania. Mm, doesn't seem like there's anything crazy in this. Just like uh, wrapping things up neatly. With each of the characters, or each of the main characters, I guess. Or the characters of the bigger roles in this, uh, in this story. Soka's here, but, uh, Yaimiko's leaving. See what she says. Ah, no one could have expected such a great event to have such a jaw-dropping conspiracy behind it. Uh, everything is fine now. Yeah, the conspiracy has been dealt with. There's no need to be afraid. Wait, shouldn't Soka be shouting something like, Ow, I know that I'll add to my novel now at times like this. Paimon is sure you found a ton of inspiration in such a drastic turn of events. To be honest, things kind of got out of hand and completely exceeded my expectations. More details and backgrounds must be added right from the beginning for the, for a villain like El Hingen. It seems like you and Lady Yai noticed something was off a long time ago. Someone ordinary like me didn't have the slightest clue about what was going on. If I'm going to add this to the novel, I'm going I'm going to have to think real hard about how to build up the underlying mystery and slowly feed the reader different clues. It would be a little strange if the twist came to abruptly. However, the arc where the villain is defeated by the protagonist has to be perfect. I'll try Drinking two pots of wine when I get writer's block. It's a method Lady Yai recommended. I'm gonna try it tonight. Wow. 
just make sure you don't drink too much. You might scare yourself with the things you end up writing. Okay. Does she say anything new? While well, the competitors that made it to the semifinals isn't a part of the Amurta, but still had such high compatibility with her fungi. I suppose logic doesn't apply to the legendary student. Uh, legendary student? Uh, if it isn't the renowned Golden Comet and Silver Companion in the flesh, didn't you guys just have a friendly match against her? You mean Layla? Huh, is that Layla's nickname? Can you tell us more about it? So you guys don't know her very well? I know she, this is a lady and I'm giving her uh, kind of a my regular voice. <laughs> But that's okay. She could have a cool, cool dude voice, right? I'm cool, right? <laughs> all, I know, all I know about her are the rumors that I've heard. Legend has it that she would appear in various places in the dead of night, carefully observing the constellations. She's capable of swiftly moving between the points of observations and able to travel long distances with ease. That sounds weird. Something must have been wrong with their eyes. Layla doesn't exactly have the greatest stamina. It's impossible for her to do something like that. I'm just sharing what I heard with you. As for whether the rumors are true, well, that's none of my business. If you know more about her, feel free to tell me. Uh, we're not telling you. Yeah, it's not appropriate to tell others about someone without their consent. Go and become Layla's friend if you want to get to know her better. Ha! You really, two really are polite, stand-up people. It doesn't matter if it's true or not, it's merely a passing conversation. There's no need to invest time in proving it. Sumeru is a big place. We belong to different Darshans and most likely won't cross paths again. We definitely won't meet again after this competition ends. Be that as it may, it still sounds a little cold. Yeah, random lady. <laughs> well, well, you, oh, 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 oh. so the last person we need to find is Hania. Zoop, beep, boo, zoop, boop, zoop. Alright, Hanya. Why does it always feel like it's nighttime when I'm playing the game? <laughs> Hello, all. Right on time. I've collected all the other contestants' wisdom orbs and found a suitable place for our fungi friends to live. Oh, very nice. I'll make absolutely sure the surrounding environment is not affected. Say hello to everyone, Kindle Joy. Kindle Joy? That's Pyro One's new name. When I saw how well behaved it was when we first met, a sense of joy welled up inside me. If I just let go of my preconceived notions about fungi and allowed myself to truly feel that moment, maybe I could have felt like that all this time. I'm so glad Hania has finally worked things out. <laughs> yeah! Even though Paimon has gotten used to the name Pyro One at this point, the new name holds so much more significance! Congratulations, Hania. Congratulations to you, Kindle Joy. I will commit to giving these gentle creatures the highest standard of care I can provide. Please, rest assured that your fungi friends will be safe with me. I guess it's time for us to say goodbye. No, it's so sad. It's always sad when you have to say uh, goodbye to your companions. Go on, Twirly Whirly. Be a good fungus now and do everything that Hania says. But Zara, Mika will be back to visit when the next Beast Hammers tournament comes around. High five, Bongo Head! It was really fun having you around. Paimon hopes that you have a good time at Hania's, and is really looking forward to seeing you again next time. We'll meet again, that's a promise. I hope that the day when humans and fungi can live in harmony will come quickly. And then we never met these fungi ever again. <laughs> Unless, I guess, if like next year there's like an anniversary for this event and it comes back. <laughs> but then this uh, event was so heavily tied to this story, they will have to like make another story. I feel like that has to do with these fun guys in order to, or another competition altogether. It would just kind of feel bland if we come back to this just to have like like generic fight fights for the competition instead of like it being tied to a story like this one is. So yeah, yeah, I guess something to look forward to. I believe in you all. You'll make it happen. I look forward to the good news.
I wonder if there'll be a permanent place in uh, Sumeru where we can like come back to where we find Hania. Maybe the fun guy isn't there. It's just like farewell, mushroom buddies. Quest complete. It's just like um a place kind of like I don't know, like here. We'll pretend there's like a little like house here and then like a, a fenced off area, and then Hania is like just standing there. And it, the, the shrooms don't, buddies don't even have to be there. We can just like go to her and, and talk to her and she'd be like, Oh, the shroom buddies are all doing great. Thanks for visiting or something like that. But yeah, this wraps up, I hope. This whole uh, fabulous fungus frenzy event story. So yeah, hopefully no surprise um, it's part 7 or something. <laughs> uh, that's all I have for you for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope to see you in the next one where... This time, probably, the next one is actually going to be this. I know I said I was, it's going to be Nahida in the last one, since I didn't know that there was going to be a part 6 to the the Shroom Buddy story. But yeah, next time it will be that. So yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you see you in the next one. Uh, subscribe for more, and goodbye.